Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna hop on and do a reveal of this Coach Cassidy bag, but before I get started, I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Freyla, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. Also, check out my Poshmark. I sell some Coach and Michael Kors items there. So this is the Coach Cassidy bag. Uh, it is a very, very Chanel-inspired bag. It has your black leather with your turn lock closure with the chain strap. It also has a burgundy interior, which I'll show you. And for those of you who have kind of been watching my videos, you know that I bought this bag in the mini size previously. I actually ended up selling that mini bag on Poshmark because I thought the leather of that bag, while very beautiful, was a little bit too soft, and I thought that I would be worried about scratching it. And then also, um, I thought for a mini bag, I didn't love how the chain strap sat on my shoulder. I thought it slipped off a little bit too easily because there wasn't enough weight of the bag kind of pulling it down. So I bought this bag in the larger size, so hoping to like kind of fix those two problems. First, the leather on this bag is um, like a little bit more textured than the mini size. So if you can see here, you can see some of that texture. Um, it is not as soft, which is good in my opinion because it won't scratch as easily. And then of course the other problem that I think this will fix is that it's a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more weight to kind of keep the strap from slipping off of my shoulder. So um, this bag is identical um, in terms of like design to the mini version but I'm going to go over it anyway for those of you who haven't seen my video. Um, First off, you'll note that this looks like it's red because I think it's reflecting something that's in the room behind me, but it is actually a gold color. Um, it's still covered in the plastic coating right now, but that's kind of a more true to color. So you can see it says Coach New York and it has your turn lock. Um, the front of the bag is just the flap. You can see the stitching on the flap is nice and even, and then you have some glazing here on the bottom of the flap. The glazing is nice and even. There we go, now it focused. Um, the sides of the bag have a really pretty little pleat detail. Um, because of the pleat detail, it is a little bit wrinkly, but that's just kind of to be expected when you pleat leather like this. Um, yeah, so you can see the pleat there. And then the back, well, maybe I'll show you the other side too. So this side actually has your little D-ring to hold the hang tag too. The hang tag is a metal hang tag, which I really like. I think it looks a little bit nicer. Um, the D-ring um, is not stamped with anything, I don't think. And then the back of the bag has a slip pocket. So that's the tag. Let me show you the tag. Um, the back has a slip pocket that's pretty large. I can fit my almost three quarters of my hand in there. Um, the back has that same kind of nice smooth leather bit of texture and then you have glazing on the top of that back pocket. You can see the back of the flap ends in kind of a stitch outward. Same on this side. They're not exactly symmetric because um, this one has a little bit more in terms of margin between that stitch but it's not that different. You can see the glazing there on the sides of the flap. And you can start to see that burgundy interior. So in terms of the interior of the bag, so if I lift it up, the first thing you see is that beautiful burgundy lining. And this is what I was saying, this is very Chanel inspired. So this is kind of a, this is some kind of fabric that is meant to feel like suede. It's definitely not suede. Um, but you have that same kind of burgundy thing that uh, Chanel does in their leather interiors. Um, here you have the turn lock, it just turns like that. 
Um, and then you can start to see the interior of the bag. So there is a front slip pocket here. Again, it has that burgundy lining and this has like a little bit of a dip down so that you can kind of get into that pocket a little bit easier. And then this is the interior of the bag. So you have a slip pocket back here. These are the care instructions. Um, and then you don't have any other pockets, which is nice because this isn't, you know, a huge bag. So there's not a ton of pockets just like taking up room. Um, this is the Creed. How am I going to show you that? That's the Creed. And uh, that's basically all of the bag. Um, just like with the uh, Chanel bags and with the Gucci Marmont, you can change the length of the chain strap from a doubled up shoulder strap to a crossbody strap just by pulling it out like that. And so then you have a strap that is way long enough to be a crossbody strap. Um, and then when you store the bag, the nice thing is you can pull these straps in and just place them inside to keep them from getting damaged. And then maybe put a bit of tissue paper here and, and around the back to keep the um, chain from making an indent on the leather. Although I think this leather feels hardy enough that that wouldn't necessarily be that big of an issue. So like I said, this bag is identical to the Mini Cassidy. Um, it's not different really besides the size, but it is a beautiful bag. I really um, do like kind of the quality of this bag, and I think it's a great alternative, much, much less expensive alternative to like a Chanel flap or a Gucci Marmont. So let me know in the comments below what you think if you have this bag, and I'll see you next time. Bye!